This video walks you through the custom archive settings on your MyPro powered website. Another video talks about the standard content archive settings in Customize My Content Archives. That's how we got columns and the image to look like how it is, the read more link, the standard settings. What we want to show here is a custom archive setting just for the recipes archive. This archive is a category. So we're going to edit this category and show you how we have it set up. If you scroll down, we're choosing a custom layout just for this term, a banner image just for this term archive. Uh, we could hide the banner if we wanted. In this case, we're hiding the entries. So we're not showing recipes on this archive. If we wanted, we could uncheck that. So they're showing and then enable custom archive settings. So we could do custom amount of columns, or custom image alignment or whatever but we don't want custom settings here we just want to hide the entries and if we go up here we're using a grid short code in my pro to show categories whose parent is the current which means we want to show children of recipes with two columns we want to show the image in the title with a background image and we want the content, which is the title, to be centered in the middle. So if we go back to this demo page, you can see it's a medium layout, medium content layout. And these aren't recipes. These are child categories of recipes. So if we view one of them here, entrees, you can see category, recipes, entrees. And here's all of our posts in the standard layout back to recipes and this is our custom archive a really powerful feature on your my pro powered website thanks for watching